Welcome back, friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I am back with another quick uh, tutorial today. We're going to be talking about uh, fluid flux. And I just wanted to give you a quick, like, starter tutorial on how to get it, uh, get started and jump in as quickly as possible. So I'm using this middle pack, which is an, a free environment that you can get from the Unreal Engine marketplace. And the target is right here, right? And we could actually do something like way down in the valley, but I want to do just a, a quick like test right here uh, to replace this water. So this is clean water. Uh, you can see the different clean waters that are included in this pack. So this one is the one that we're going to be replacing. Okay, so let's turn that off for now. And actually let's change the render to be... So we want that to be hidden, okay, so that it's not visible. All right, and so when you get, when you go to the marketplace over here and after you've purchased uh, Fluid Flux, which by the way looks amazing, <laughs> totally amazing, right? So once you've purchased it, you can then get that package, uh, drop it into any project that you have. Right now we're using the, the middle environment set, but as you can see on the this folder level, content folder level, that's where I've placed fluid flux. So just double click on that. And so the first step that we need to do is add, uh, go to the simulation folder inside of fluid flux, right? And go to a blueprint and drag in the BP flux simulation and just drop it right there, like so. And make sure you're not simulated yet. Okay, so as you raise it up, you can see how it's gonna it's taking up like different parts of the the, the ground cover. So that is where the wet material is gonna be uh, applied. So when you move it around, you can see the like the marking of the the like the edge of the water. So you need to adjust that according to the environment that you're in. Okay, and you can also raise it up all the way. Or raise it down all the way down right and over here in the details panel over here type in height and this is how you determine the height of this the blueprint so if we do like 20 you can see it's starting already to show on the very like lower level it squished it up a little bit but let's use 200 2000 rather because this is a, a mountainous uh, terrain and we want to have enough space under the ground for this to take effect, right? And then we're also going to look at the resolution. So by default, it's 256 by 256, but if you increase this, say by 512, it's going to extend left and right and you know front and back. So we want to keep it at 256 because this is a small area. And you can actually see the area that it's covering over here. Okay. All right. This is very easy. So after you've done that part, the next step is to go to back to simulation. And under the modifiers, uh, double click on modifiers to open it. And then go to the BP Flux Modifier Source Actor. And then we're going to drop this here. This is the one that generates the water. So as I'm lifting it up, you can actually see it. <laughs> that is the one that's generating the water. That's the source of the water. So all we got to do now is really go to simulate. And there it fills it up. So these markings right here means that you probably need to decrease the size of this because this area is so small. So we'll just go to scale and let's just uh, scale it up a tiny bit like that and then just do simulate again. All right, so that fixes that and you can see the water filling up. So as you encounter like artifacts like that, just adjust the blueprint, sorry, the modifier. So that is the source right here. We've got, let's stop and Let's uh, scale it up a little bit more, okay, like that. Now, if you want it to continue producing water, 
you go to, you select the modifier source actor over here, and then under the details, let's expand this, click on fluid modifier source, okay? And all the way down, you're gonna see duration. So if I turn this to minus one, when I simulate, it's gonna continue producing water. Like if you want to create a, a river, it's just gonna go producing, 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 and <laughs> until you run, you, can't, you won't be able to run out really. So let's stop that. And let's change it to uh, maybe like 20 to add more fluid, simulate. So after 20, it should fade away. And so these borders here also, are, they, they matter because if you increase that border, let me stop that. And let's go back to the fluid simulation over here. And if we raise this up, let's bring it back up. So it has to be in contact. So if I bring it, make it break, so it's gonna go all over. <laughs> all right, so now it's going into the grassy area or the one, you can actually see the border right here. So look at that though, right? That looks beautiful. And as the, the bigger the resolution of this, the more it's gonna spread out. And, and so when it's done with that 20, those 20 units, then it's, it settles down. But as you can see, it's reacting to the grass, the log over there. Right, so let's uh, increase the resolution just a little bit more to see how far we can, you know, push it. So we have that. Let's go to resolution. Uh, type in over no, no over here. Resolution. Let's give it uh, five hundred and twelve by five hundred and twelve, <laughs> and let's move it over here. Let's see how far. It goes all right go ahead and simulate so there it's starting to send the water and now it's going down the road there it goes and there it continues to go and the, what's amazing is that it's actually responding to these rocks over here the fence and it's just filling up the whole place there and it's gonna go down the mountain all the way down right and this is in real time guys that's what's amazing look at that okay so if we were to increase the resolution it would go all the way down to the valley and all right so that's the end of our map <laughs> But as you can see, it does a pretty good job of flowing around the rocks and creating foam, pulling around the edges over here. You know, that is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So guys, if you're creating like a short film and you need something really too quick uh, that doesn't even need like the landscape, you know, component, just on your actual map, you can definitely use this uh, asset, Fluid Flux, to be able to create something really quick like that all the way down the mountain. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me again today. Uh, Solomon Jago over here. Today we're talking about Fluid Flux, which is an exciting new asset pack that is uh, from uh, Imaginary Blend. And it's really, really fun to play with works in real time and it looks awesome except i need to be out of the trees so it's continuing to flow up from over there all the way down isn't that amazing and look at that let's press g to get rid of the game components that is so cool and it's flowing all over <laughs> All right, guys, thank you again for joining me. If you're new to my channel, please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And again, just a quick uh, recap. We're using uh, Fluid Flux. So 
all you gotta do is go to the simulation folder start with a blueprint this one right here place it in your environment adjust it accordingly so sometimes you know there will be some adjustments that you need to make to make it work properly and after you add the flux simulation go to modifiers and add the bp flux modifier source actor and that will enable you to add the flowing fluid All right thank you so much guys bye for now and as always dare to dream big never ever give up on your dream guys much love and i'll continue to pray for you as always and bye for now oh and if you have um i mean do please support the developers of this uh, plugin if you have the funds uh, please go ahead and purchase it because they put in a lot of effort in this uh, i really see the work and it's really really good work so please support them by purchasing all right bye for now